we know a lot about various senses like vision and hearing. I think the sense of touch and pain really sort of was somewhat enigmatic, even among all the senses. And so, you know, I think the work that my lab's done, that Artem's lab done, really sort of provided the molecular tools to really understand the sense of touch in detail. And, and what that does from a, a translational point of view, or potentially a clinical point of view, is to um, lead to the discovery of new targets and molecules for developing new types of analgesic drugs. I think identifying these molecules gives us tags to understand the cells that are involved and to begin to understand the neural circuitry that's involved. So at one level, it's just more basic curiosity-driven science to really understand the pathway through which pain signals and touch signals are sent from, the, from your skin, for example, to your spinal cord, to your brain, and really understand each stage because uh, maladaption or, you know, chronic pain can occur at each of those stages. And so these give, this gives, you know, work has given us a handle to really following that roadmap and trajectory. And then, um, you know, drug discovery is a long road. And so I think it's opened the way to allow pharmaceutical firms to use the knowledge that we've acquired, accumulated, and discoveries to, you know, mount drug screening efforts and clinical trials. But, you know, that's a long road to hoe, as they say. And so, you know, that'll take a while. But I think, you know, our work has helped to launch some of that.